Welcome to Thailand's Pride and Joy, the not-so-hidden gem known as Maya Bay, made popular by Leonardo DiCaprio in the film called The Beach. You'd think that this place would be so overrated after decades of being so popular, but once you actually make it there, it's a whole nother story. Come join us in the most sought-after island hopping experience in the world. Today, we are going island hopping here in Phuket, Thailand. We are going to be visiting the Pippi Islands and like Maya Bay and all that. We're so excited. I'm yeah. so keen for today. And the weather seems to be pretty good. So it should yeah. be a great day. So in this tour, there's quite a bit of stops. There's five main stops. And then I think on a couple or a few of them, there's little stops in between. So it's a super jam-packed day. It's going to be long as absolute heck, but it's going to be amazing. We would like to say a big thank you to Travel Lodge Phuket Town for starting this out for us and also tour agency which is Call Me Taxi. You can book all your tours literally there when you get to the hotel. Yeah, so yeah, thank you so much for taking care of us. This is uh, so exciting. We can't wait to get on our first tour here in Phuket. For this tour, we are hopping on a speedboat, not a long tail boat. Even though the long tail would be a pretty cool experience, the speedboat's gonna be so useful. So we have made it to a first stop called Green Island and Alex and I actually have been snorkeling inside. Unfortunately, I did not bring my action camera. <laughs> oh, the rain's pouring now, but it's a bit of a vibe. <sighs> this, it's, it's beautiful. So far, it's nothing too crazy. Uh, we've done snorkeling before. Like I said, didn't have my action camera, so let me just put in some footage that looks very similar. <laughs> like footage from the Philippines that looks similar to here in Thailand. <sighs> pretty good, pretty good start to this uh, island hopping tour in, here in Phuket. How was your experience like? Oh my gosh, it was yeah. so good. I went yeah. like to the rocks almost to, on the like closer to the island. True, you were and like And there was so area. much fish and there were like blue fish and so many. But wow, that was such an experience. I'm so glad we got time to do that. Okay, so that's it for the first island. Um, I was saying I'm just gonna put some footage from like El Nido or something. <laughs> like what's yeah, the most similar? Action cam. Yeah. But we'll show you the rest of the tour. Yeah. On the real cam. <laughs> yeah. On to the next stop. It is absolutely a hectic scene out here. This I is mean, the reality of going at these very touristy, popular places. Yeah, oh my goodness. Like, we thought El Nido and Koron gets busy, but. Thailand has been yeah, doing this for a lot longer. This part. Yeah. This part right here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's nuts. So, this island is called Pipile. I believe that's what it's called, so correct us if we're wrong. But this is where they house Maya Bay, yes. which is probably one of the most iconic uh, beaches in the world. It's in, I mean, if you don't know, from the movie Leonardo DiCaprio's The Beach. So we've actually seen that movie like a few times. Yeah. And we can't wait to finally be living on the island. <laughs> Welcome to my bay. Ah, this is this is exciting. I know everyone would have probably seen this beach already online or in person, but it's our first time. Oh my god. We can see it, guys. It's magical. Oh my gosh, guys. The color of the ocean. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm actually like so speechless. Like, I. Okay. We've seen something similar, right? But this is honestly top tier. I this know. This view doesn't even seem real. Like, it's actually so vast. It's so wide. And the water is blue, but that is... Oh, it's just crazy. I can't just... I can't stop looking at it because, like, it doesn't seem real. 
like it seems like a what do you call it? It's animated Ooh. version. Of, <laughs> yeah, like and CGI. Your movie, CGI. Yeah. Your movies or something. Because you're literally enclosed in a mountain of limestone, and right in the middle is the beautiful Whoa. water and this long stretch, or somewhat long stretch of beach. It's I love gorgeous. it. It's like, this is honestly, you need to see this in your life at least once. Everyone should see this place. The only thing that sucks is when we got here, we got here around 12.30, but we have to leave at 12.50. It's like 20 it's minutes. so quick. Yeah. I wish we could stay here all day, honestly. Yeah. And they have some snacks here as well. Yeah. So, oh, I wish it was longer, but it's beautiful nonetheless. And, uh, yeah, and you can't even swim. It sucks, but I Let's actually, see that way. I actually like that they're conserving this area as much as they can because many, many years ago it was an absolute shit show. And they had all the birds here on this dock right here. Yeah. But oh my gosh, that was like not good for the environment. So I'm so glad that we got to go at a better time where they're trying to preserve this area because there's a lot of tourists like. And I'm here. glad we were able to see it for ourselves yeah. before. I mean, I don't know if they might like. Close it. They used to do that in the Philippines where they clean up, but yeah, we're here and it's beautiful. The mountains are actually insane. Like, I just stopped for like 10 seconds, look with my own eyes before we leave because it's so sad. We have to go now. It felt like 10 minutes on this yeah, beach. But this is so beautiful. Like, if we can do a private tour, you can also do that, um, arrange it, and maybe stay here a bit longer. Yeah, we're not balling like that though, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe one day. <laughs> It was a surreal feeling seeing Maya Bay for the first time. We wish we could have stayed longer but now we have to move on to the rest of the tour. We had the option to get on Thailand's classic tailboard and we didn't pass on the opportunity. I just want to shout out PGY Tech, we're actually working together over on Instagram so check out the link in the description and show some love on the post, would really appreciate you guys. But yeah, they're saying over there PGY Tech One Go Shoulder Bag, the 6 liter version which is compact and keeps my camera kit very light allowing me to create content without any hiccups. They also sent their camera shoulder and wrist strap so my gear stay secure as I run around Vietnam and Thailand. And they even have this card reader and case that can hold multiple SD cards, micro SDs and nano sims which is perfect for travel creators. Thanks again PGY Tech for the care package. Okay, Ooh, I feel kind of sick. The boat we is swaying. got on the boat. Yeah. What do you call this? This is the long tail, long -tail boat. boat. We actually yeah. made it on one. And so we're currently in Laguna. I think that's yeah. one of the, this is the third stop. And, and you uh, get to hire the boat for 300 baht per person, or you can do a private, right? Yeah, like pri a private you, can, you can also do private yeah. if you prefer, but we have a small group. There is about uh, seven of us seven, yeah. in total. So not too bad. But I think we're exploring Pipile. I believe that's this massive island in the middle of the ocean where we can find Maya Bay and Laguna. So yeah, pretty incredible views. And being able to experience the long tail boat, you know, like the classic Highland boat. Yeah. It's very different from the Philippines because the Philippines have the sides to stabilize itself. Yeah. But this one is pretty much like a speed boat, but yeah. very classic. We are just stopped here in the bay or well, Laguna. You literally just go around one time and then you stop yeah. and then you can swim. Unfortunately, it's not for us. It's good for photos, yeah. for sure. It's but 300 baht per person, if yeah. we didn't mention it earlier. Yeah, it's it's not long enough. And you, yeah. just, like, you just go out. Of kind of turned around in this area, yeah. but that's pretty much it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, you can skip that one, staying on the bird if you want, but... And just swim. I will have to say though, the bay views here in Laguna, or in this lagoon, it's insane. Like, whoa, that is incredibly, incredibly tall, or up high. And yeah, there's just mountains again surrounding us. Let's go to the next stop. We just got here at Pipi Island and yes. this is where we're gonna have lunch. But before this Hungry. one, we actually went to Vikings Cave and also the Monkey Beach. But like unfortunately, we went past. yeah, we went past yeah. it. Unfortunately, it was high tide, so we couldn't dock at Monkey Beach, but we did see some monkeys. I, think, I feel like it's more, it's a fortunate thing because yeah. those monkeys are aggressive. Yeah. They're gonna take your shit and I'm like. I'm kind of scared of the monkeys, like pretty much anywhere in Asia, so <laughs> we don't really try and interact with them. Yeah, nope. Was that? We have, I think, 50 baht for coconut ice cream. So it's nice. perfect for today because it's. I need some dessert. There we go. Me and my coconut ice cream. So they put like sprinkles and all with chocolate. It looks so good. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. So where we ate was sort of like this cafeteria, mm. canteen kind of thing. I believe a lot of the tours 
um, go there to have like a buffet meal. So they had like vegetarian options. Yeah, they did. And some chicken. Nothing, uh, nothing amazing. Yeah, it was pretty decent. But it's included in the price, so yeah. can't complain. But yeah, so we wanted some desserts. Alex got her coconut, coconut ice cream. Yep, so that's actually 60 baht. And then I got myself this uh, such a traditional <laughs> cuisine. <laughs> Traditional chocolate wafers. wafer cuisine. Chocolate wafers. Me and my chocolate, baby. Bruh. So we're now heading to the beach. Literally just here because it is stunning. I think we've got about a half hour left to chill just and hang out. out until we head out for the rest of the tour. How beautiful is this view though? So clear and like just more mountains. Just crazy limestone mountains. It's insane. Well, but that's really beautiful there. I want to go in, but I don't know if it's that clean because this is where all the boats park. Actually, a lot of them park on that side, so it's still the same beach. So we just made it here at... So this, I believe this is the last island that we're yeah. going to be traveling to. We're actually going to try and snorkel in the area. Um, it took about 40 minutes speed boat ride. Yeah. It, felt, it felt long, but yeah. it's very far. Now we're going to spend the sunset here, which is really nice and calming. But yeah, everyone's here for sunset. So this island is kind of hectic actually, because hectic in the sense where there's so much to do. Because you, you can opt to sit on the beach chairs and kind of just lounge around with your drink cocktail, whatever. And you can also eat here, have some snacks. And also you can hire a jet ski and whatnot. So yeah, there's quite a bit of activities here. You can snorkel. It's sunset now, and so the lining is beautiful. A few moments later. All right, we found a spot. It's over here, and that's the beach that we're gonna snorkel on. I'm honestly not expecting too much, like in terms of like corals and whatnot. But yeah, we're just gonna go in for a quick sunset dip. This is beautiful, but unfortunately, I can't really bring you guys. Didn't bring any like action cam and whatnot, so my bad. Sorry for that. You should wear your shoes here, babe. Huh? You should wear your shoes, babe. Oh, I should. I think it's clear. I'll risk it. Bruh. <laughs> and just like that, this trip has come to an end. We have to go back to the boat now. Yes. Literally snorkeled for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was. It was. There's actually some, right, on the shallow actually, area. Actually, there's quite a bit of fish, but yeah. not much like corals. And yeah, but it was a bit murky, like the water. It wasn't yeah. as clear. Maybe it was because of the birds here docking. Mm. But anyway, we literally just chilled out in the last 30 minutes, and now we're about to head home. Honestly, such a gorgeous view here on the islands, yeah. especially when you get to watch the sunset. Mm. It hits different, you guys. It hits different. So we want to tell you our honest opinions once we get back to the hotel. So let's quickly uh, get there. So we finally made it back home. Well, back to our hotel, but shout out to Travel Lodge for hosting our entire stay here in Phuket. It's actually our last night and we leave tomorrow. But anyway, honest thoughts on the tour was it's actually pretty incredible, except for a few things I would like want to change. Uh, I think we went to a few too many stops, mm. sort of like the cave where we kind of just drove past it. Yeah. I understand that there's a pretty cool story behind it, but honestly, I felt like we had skipped that and the monkey beach as well because that can get pretty dangerous. And good thing is we didn't even we didn't even get off. So yeah. Alternatively, I reckon we could have stayed longer at some yeah. spots like PP sure. Island and also Kau Kawanok. No. Kau Konok. The last island that we were at during sunset. Yeah. Just by the beach, I guess even snorkeling around. But besides that, honestly, the the view of Maya Bay is like otherworldly. Oh Thought we seen it all, traveling around the Philippines, seeing El Nido, seeing yeah. Coron, but Thailand this has got something else. Huh? Is on another level. Yeah. And the tourist is also on another level. It's like <laughs> times ten. Yeah, it's crazy. We've experienced something like this in Japan in the mm. cities, but this time that we're in the tropics and on yeah. the islands. So. Highly recommend for you guys to check out that tour especially the Maya Bay and PP Islands. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. Also subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notification bell so you get notified on our next Thailand vlog. All right, see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.